Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out A Demonic Dilemma by Demon Arisen. And as you can see, this is for Aperture Tag, the Paint Gun Testing Initiative. It's been a long time since I've ever had this game installed. Let's see. Possibly the hardest puzzle on the Aperture Tag Workshop. No ninja moves required, just logic. Intro Room teaches you a few things you need to know for the main puzzle. Enjoy! Caution! This map is pretty large and has quite a lot of glass slash grating and other items. As such, it may not run well on some less powerful computers. Alright, well, if you want to go watch my original playthrough of Aperture Tag, I will warn you that my microphone quality is not as good. <laughs> so, just be aware of that. But, yeah. This is- this is Aperture Tag, for people who don't know. In Aperture Tag, you get to shoot paint. Depending on whether it has been enabled by walking through paint fizzlers. Paint fizzlers can either turn on or turn off your ability to shoot each kind of paint, depending on which side- which direction you walk through them in. Alright, so, looks like this button spawns a cube, but Deathwish could probably easily press it from that distance, but... For now, let's turn on some gel. Looks like it- According to the- the label, it only turns on... Yeah, I know how to untoggle zoom. Yeah, it only turns on the blue gel. And as you can see, I can shoot gel until I walk through it, and then I can't shoot gel anymore, because it's directional. So let's see... This is where we need the cube. Objects can pass through these, because these are- these only affect your paint gun. So let's see... We can hop up here, but we can't do much else. Oh, right, we can shoot through the grating. That's something we can do. So once we do that, we can head back through the paint fizzler. And then from here, we can hop up here, and yes, I know how to push buttons, game. Are you gonna also ask me to pick up the cube? Oh, yes you are. And I'm too lazy to, to shoot Jill over here, so let's just do it this way. Yes, I know how to pick up and drop cubes. That's something- that's something that happens with, uh, these mods sometimes. They just- they think that you need to understand how to play the game. Actually, I think there might even be a setting to turn that off. Uh, but I'll find it some other day. Put that there. And then we can walk through here, and this will turn off our paint. I think that just turns off all our paint, in fact. So maybe we should have done... is we should have, uh... And now I have to go back through this guy. There we go. I think I should have done... yeah, there we go. So now I can walk through here. Wait a sec. I forgot. Does it paint go through... Oh, I almost landed on the issue. Right! In this mod, they changed, uh, Fizzler so that, uh, paint can't go through Fizzlers anymore. I don't know why they didn't just make a dedicated Fizzler to block paint. But yeah, in, in this mod, you cannot shoot paint through Fizzlers, unlike the regular Portal 2 base game. Alright, so what was that? That was... just blue paint, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's just get blue paints all around here. Let's go ahead and press this button. What does this do? Also, portal surfaces are pretty much useless in this mod. And the only reason that there are portal surfaces at all is that just to distinguish areas from each other, really. Not much of a reason other than that, as far as I know. And you I guess you also have to have a portal surface to put auto-portals on, because there are auto-portals in this mod. There is still portals in this mod. They just, uh, don't give you a portal gun ever. Alright, so, there's that. And then... Wait, does that give both, or just speed gel? Huh. I think I see what has to happen here, but first of all, let's... Let's see where we can take this cube. So if we take this cube here... That took all my stuff away. Uh... Maybe I just want to leave it here for now. Yeah. Stay there, cube. Alright, so. Let's walk back over here. Oops, come on. Eh, whatever. Yes, I know how to stop bouncing, game. You don't need to tell me. Yeah, so this gives us... this gel, so now I can jump back up here... ...and jump over this. There we go. And we can do something along the lines of... this. Yeah, that should work. 
now... Now that we've done that... Huzzah! We get across. And I'll intone however I like, Rector Rocks. I wonder what that's about. That's probably just to block us from shooting up there? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so we keep our, our paint that way. What's... what's this about? Why would I ever want to do that? The paint gun is quite powerful in this game. Like, you can shoot quite a distance, as you can see. So. How about we start by oiling up these ramps? There we go. And then we can also do these guys here. Ta-da! Alright, so. Head over here. We'll do that. Yes, I know how to pick up cubes, game. You don't have to remind me every single time. Whee! Whee! We'll do... this. Which, I guess, we can leave it here for now. Alright, so. Eventually we'll probably want to swap it out with the regular cube, though. Or maybe they're just different to be distinguished. Oh, nope, there's a laser, so we'll want to swap it out with the regular cube for sure. Alright, so. Let's get this oiled up. Where does this lead? Just, just take this back. Huh? Oh, don't touch me in that, please. Interesting. So this either lets me go back... But I think... yeah, okay, so that's just if I were to drop down, I needed to get out of here because I had done things out of order, I suppose. Anyway, the cube's in here now, so... Might as well take it... on a ride, I suppose. Might as well grease up the stairs even though it doesn't work in this mod, I don't think. Yep, doesn't work. Oh, wait! It does? They fixed it? They fixed it in the mod, but not in the base game. <laughs> Thank you, mod developers, because that does not work in the base game, I'll tell ya. If you didn't know, gel does not work on stairs that are extended. The stairs have to be retracted in order for the gel to work. But, it seems that Aperture Tag has fixed it, and I didn't know. Alright, so... Where... do we want to go? Because this only does... Yeah, that only does the exit. Why does the antline go up instead of down? <laughs> Strange. Um... Although I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to- Oh, there's a faith plate here. Did not- did not see that till just now. Oh! Well, here's how we swap out the cubes. Get up there. Yeah, there you go. It, 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 it. It, get up there. Close enough. <laughs> Certainly I'm not very good at tossing cubes in this version of the game. Alright, and then we head over here. Whee! Wow, I landed on the laser cube. Alright, so now we put the regular cube here, because the laser cube is clearly more valuable. To take with us, I mean. And then we'll head up here. Hooray! Ooh, what's all that about? I guess we shall find out momentarily. Oh, How is that going to work? Cause that... blocks that... Does that mean we need... the blue gel? But how will we get blue gel in here? Mysterious. How do we even get over there? Uh, I guess we will find out? Maybe? Why did I come down here? This is not the place to be. Yeah, we want to be down here. Hmm... 
how do I get up there? Like, you would think... That it'd be a matter of putting blue gel on the floor here... But I'm not... Entirely sure how you would do that. And like... I could try shooting the blue gel into the funnel... But then, I don't know how I would quickly turn off the funnel in time, in order to get it to drop down on here. Mysteries... Huh. Because this right here... is not enough to get up there for sure. Definitely not. Though... It would be certain death... ...if we were to, like, loop up this area. I guess I'll use this, right? Yeah, okay. Whee! Certain death. Oh, right. I don't have my keybinds. <laughs> Does that mean we lose the music, or did they fix that? Ah, well, I think we lost the music. And I'm too lazy to add my keybinds right now. <laughs> Let's get going. I should really add my keybinds. <laughs> Alright, so. At least we quick saved, and that's all well and good. That there. Not so dather, that there. Whee. Yeah, like this is something we can do. Can't shoot anymore because that's the maximum. I guess that might be enough time. If we speedrun it. Oh, let's... okay, well... I should really just get into the habit of opening the console at this point. <laughs> you know what? That's an important keybind, I should really just add that. Let's see... Bind... Tab... It's the Sheets 1... No Clip... God. Oh, I forgot a semicolon. Always check your semicolons, kids. There we go. That's more like it. Let's- let's get this thing back to where we had it before. Uh. Oh. He landed there. Alright. We'll do that. And how about we save over here this time? <laughs> we. Alright, so... That would give us... What would that give us? Just bounce gel, alright. Huh. So if we get the bounce gel again... That'll have to do. I didn't want to erase all of it. Let's get some more in here, because why not? Even though that's probably the worst distribution. Yep, that's- that's why it's the worst distribution. Alright, so... Things we can do... include... We can do this... But then, we'd have to hurry on over there... And then pull off the cube. I don't think that's enough time. But I suppose... I suppose we could try.
Actually, let's, uh... Let's speed this up for a moment. Let's get all that gel out of here. I wanna make sure it all runs into the glass so that we have plenty of gel to fire in a moment to come. Alright, host time scale back to one, please. Alright. Now let's hurry through here. Hurry. And it's not gonna be enough. Yeah, we've already missed the window. Alright, so... The other thing we could try and do is recall that regular cube. And that should have the same effect, I believe. Yeah, that makes actually a lot more sense. Alright, so, let's get, get this back. And then we'll jump around over here. And this time, we need to focus on recalling the regular cube. Yeah, that's good enough. There we go! That should do the trick. Alright. Whee! Whee! Yeah, there we go. I don't think we need the regular cube anymore. But we do need... Wait, how do I still have it? What? Oh! Right... Wait, why are there two that give me the blue gel? That's... strange and awkward. Yeah, <laughs> I wonder why that is. Okay, but I can't do anything useful from this side. Yes, I know game, I know how to stop bouncing. Yes, I know how to stop bouncing game. How long is it gonna remind me about that? <laughs> I'm gonna try and get it over. Okay, so I guess what we need to do is not have that laser doing its thing right now. So, regrettably, we do actually... Oh, I actually we don't think we need the funnel, in fact. Yeah, I think we can just bounce our way back from whence we came. Although not like that, please. Oh, come on. Oh gosh. This was a mistake. Putting the gel on the walls. Oh gosh, let's just no clip up here, please. <laughs> there is no cleansing gel gun, nor is there a conversion gel gun, because there's no you don't shoot portals in this game, so you don't need conversion gel. Let's leave it uh like that. There. That'll do it. And then we need to put I don't know, I guess we need to do stuff in there? But how does that make sense? It's almost... it's almost backwards. Huh. Alright, well then. Let me back through here, please. Whee! That's a lot of fun. Alright, so, now we have access to this area. Not entirely sure why... ...but it will allow us to paint all this. Why, though? Like, we can hit the cube from in here, but we're not gonna ever make it point at the laser receiver like this. It almost feels backwards to me. Like we were like it was already supposed to have these inverted or something. But people have solved this map, so clearly this is the way it's meant to be. Unless... Is there a way... 
to have their regular cube block the laser. I don't even know if that's possible, but, I mean, it's the only thing I can think of at this point. Let's head all the way back through here, please. Oh yeah, that's definitely possible. All we have to do is to go this way. Eep! Oh! Eh. <laughs> Let's not deal with that room, please. I have conquered this room. I don't want to deal with it anymore. Yep, this'll work. Alright, so... Let's put this as far back as possible. And let's put this as far forward as possible. That way... We can try and avoid hitting the laser cube while we hit the regular cube with the gel. And that should theoretically... ...do the trick. And then once we're up there, then we can hit... ...the laser cube, which will allow that to get hit by the laser. That should work, in theory. That's the theory that I'm going with. That's so much fun. <laughs> Alright, let's get this show on the road. Whee! Also, I can totally get this in here. I hope you know. Totally useless, but still. It speeds things up, I suppose. And... Oh. And... Bounce! <laughs> How did I land here? Whatever. We. Alright, so. Let's carefully... There we go. Alright, so there's phase one completed. Now we get up here. Hmm. Secrets? Easter eggs? Anything of note? Oh, come on! This totally looked like a place you'd put an Easter egg. Alright, fine, whatever. Let's just get back up here. Alright, so. Last. And certainly not least. Kazam. There we go. Alright, well guys, thank you all so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!